Hey guys and welcome to Tasmania TV. For today's video I thought that I'd show you a little bit of one of the biggest traditions uh, in Sweden and it is Midsummer. This was last Friday and there are a couple of traditional things that most Swedes do when celebrating Midsummer and then some maybe not so traditional. So yeah, we had a lot of fun and I hope you guys liked the video. So here it is, Swedish Midsummer. So Midsummer usually consists of gathering a bunch of friends and family, both grown-ups and kids, hanging out somewhere where you can just, well, be outdoors as much as possible. We were in luck this year, the weather was pretty awesome all day long. So we were out in the southern part of Stockholm by a lake, and we had this little party tent set up so that we could stay in the shade if we wanted to. The food is a very important part of Midsummer, and one of the most important things is pickled herring. You see this lovely cake thing right here? That is a herring cake that I made and it was really good. So pickled herring is one of those things that Swedes eat on pretty much every traditional holiday all year. Christmas, Easter, yeah, all of those. So people kept adding up to our little group. We weren't that many at first. So here is nube or snaps, which is herbal vodka or something like that. You spice it or you make it yourself. Uh, I made this one myself and it is lemon and dill. So more and more people kept coming and over here we had some people playing music and dancing. Usually we have a midsommarstong, which is a maypole, kind of looks like this usually, but we didn't have one of those this time. So the kids were kind of dancing around the musicians instead. Yeah, this is me drinking Jaeger. Cheers! Cheers! And some people might need to take a little nappy nap after having eaten all that pickled herring. <laughs> or they're just tanning their bellies. Like my friend in the blue t-shirt right here. Yeah, tan that belly good. <laughs> And the little ones need to get some food too, of course. We just chill out most of the day, really. Don't really do that much. Some people bring instruments and we play and sing and just hang out. And more and more people kept coming. Some are friends and some we don't know, but it's just fun to be around that many people. Fun to celebrate with a lot of people. So it's time for the guys to go swimming now. We were by a lake, so... I think the water was a little bit cold at first, but you got used to it. And after a nice dip, it's just nice to hang out some more, play even more music. We've got some talented people in the gang. Then it was time for some sparkling wine. I'm a big fan of those. And more people kept coming. You see, our camp is growing constantly. And then when evening came, it was time for a nice barbecue. So, meat and cheese and all kinds of stuff. Everybody just brings their own and uses these disposable barbecues. And then we make those these traditional like leafy green thingies with flowers and stuff for the heads. I don't know what we call them in English, but we call them misama krans. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That I gave you a little peek into the traditions of a Swede. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!